Hello everyone, welcome, I'm glad you're here. This presentation is about FortiGate Firewall Automation with Ansible. I'm Ehsan and I will show you how to manage your firewalls faster and more reliably by using automation. First of all, let's start with the why. Why automate FortiGate Firewalls? As we know, manual configuration of firewalls is slow and also prone to human error and makes consistent policy deployment difficult. It's also hard to track changes which can cause issues with compliance. As we know, automation helps solve these problems by making deployments predictable, fast and auditable. If we are going to have automation in our network, for example, if we are going to automate our FortiGate firewalls, we will have some benefits by automating our FortiGate firewalls. We will benefit from consistent and rapid deployments, as you see in the slide. We will have fewer mistakes from manual entry, also better documentation and auditability and also as we mentioned earlier in previous videos the ability to use infrastructure as code for full version control as you see in this slide we can say that ansible and fortigate will be perfect with each other but uh, why ansible as we know and also mentioned in the earlier videos uh, ansible is agentless safe and uses simple yaml files that are easy to read the official fortinet collection brings a lot of flexibility to our playbooks allowing us to manage addresses policies and much more all from our control node with no need to install software on the firewalls themselves this means that agentless architecture and we no need software installation on our devices and so we'll just communicate with SSH or API. If we want to have a brief overview about the architecture, we can say that Ansible runs on our control node connecting to FortiGate over HTTPS or SSH. The FortiGate also receives configurations directly from our playbook, meaning no more tedious manual logins or inconsistencies. Now, if we want to get it sorted, we will need Ansible Core Python 3. At the first step, you see that we need to install Ansible. Then we need to have the Fortinet Ansible collection. And as you see, we can install it by the command Ansible Galaxy Collection install Fortinet.40OS. We can add Fortinet modules. And uh, also, we need an API access setup on our FortiGate device. We need to create API user with appropriate permission. And also, we need to have the generated API token. And also in the next step, we need to set up our inventory, an inventory file with our device details. And as you know, we need to always keep our API tokens secure. And ideally we can use Ansible Vault for this purpose. Let's look at a sample playbook that we have here. It's just a basic and simple playbook and as you see, we define our hosts and connection. We set parameters and then list our tasks. For example, we can create an address object with just a few lines of YAML. Here's a typical snippet for reference. As you see, we have hosts here, collections, connection, and vars, and also tasks. Uh, Remember that this is just a basic and simple structure and it's not the best uh, structure that we can have for our playbooks. Uh, here we just uh, to see the basic 
YAML anatomy and want to see that what we will have in the YAML structure. But uh, we will have some common use cases for automating our FortiGate firewalls. Everything from policy deployment and address management to VPN setup and firmware upgrades. Uh, in this part, automation uh, helps keep our configs clean, current, and also backed up. And also, uh, we will have a few best practices if we want to implement uh, automation in our network. Uh, first of all, we need to use version control. We can use Git for tracking playbooks, test changes in a dev environment also. And we need to use variables to keep playbooks flexible and also the important part, document everything. Also, monitoring playbook execution also helps improve reliability and recover from errors fast. These are the best practices and also uh, important ones that we need to cover uh, in our project when we are going to automate our network. These are basics, but uh, plays an important role in our projects. So uh, in the last slide, uh, we just see that uh, if we feel ready to automate our network, we need to begin with simple tasks like automated backups, then move on to more complex workflows like for example, policy or VPN automation as your comfort grows. As we know, automation is about working smarter, not harder. And finally, thanks for watching and letting me know your questions in the comments, please. This uh, presentation is just a simple and basic review about the mindset of uh, automating our FortiGate firewalls and in the next step we will explore the Fortinet Ansible collection documentations and also we are going to write uh, Ansible playbook for automating our FortiGate firewalls. We will start from the scratch, from the basic tasks to the complex ones we will use API tokens to run our playbooks. Thank you everyone for watching me.